being on the forefront of of a look, mm -hmm. whether it's you know like um, your website, your your you know the lobby in your mm -hmm. church or whatever you know. Um, where's is there a fine line there? You know, because I mean. Uh, for a while, when something's brand new, we all kind of look at it and go, that's weird, you know, mm -hmm. like uh, fashion is a mm -hmm. huge one, you know, somebody's wearing a jacket, like that's an ugly jacket, and, you know, mm -hmm. and a year later you're buying that jacket and mm -hmm. you've got, you know, two of them and whatnot. Mm -hmm. So is there, is there that, what's the, what's the line of saying, okay, uh, we need to do something that's popular and it's going to reach the masses, or is it, let's be ahead of the curve? Yeah, well, I, and I think that's where it comes back down to the designing on principle. Okay. When you design on principle, you should be ahead of the curve. Mm. And that's one of our angsts. Why isn't the church ahead of the curve? It used to be historically. Right. And, you know, up to 150 years ago, before the Industrial Revolution, and we started copying you know, our education system. Let's make spiritual formation based on that, bashing right. kids through. Yeah. And that's the same thing with creativity. We kind of bash things through. We think it's cutting edge to follow. Right. Um, but no, our push is definitely like, we don't sit back and say, hey, let, let's, let's see you know, what the latest thing Apple's doing or Fossil's doing or sure. whoever we think is cool. We try and take whatever we see as input. Mm -hmm. Take the principles that we're trying to communicate and design towards that. And that's how you come up with timeless design because it stands on principle. I mean, yeah. uh, I mean, uh, when Herb Ryman did uh, the, the master plan rendering of the 1955 Disneyland on a weekend, you know, and it's wow. like he designed on principle. The whole uh, master plan on this hub and spoke layout was, you know, revolutionary for a theme park back then. But 55 years later, or actually even more than 55 years later, uh, you know, you have you know, theme parks around the world from, you know, Magic Kingdom in Florida to Tokyo Disneyland, to Disneyland Paris, to Hong right. Kong Disneyland, Shanghai Disneyland now. And when they worked on uh, Hong Kong Disneyland, I mean, they rolled out the plans from 1955. Wow. You know, to look at how he did the massing in the buildings, the 5 8 uh, elevations, uh, the 5 8 scale on the third yes. story elevations in order to play with that s sense of scale. Um, wow. That was all designed on principle and budgets. You know, yeah. there was a practical side of that. And that's the thing is, um, we're so used to eating at McDonald's. And if you don't have a principle to apply it, when you go home to make something, you don't walk into your kitchen and go, okay, hey, where's my menu? Where do I order? Right, you know, right. It's insane, but we're, we're in a culture that's so used to eating at McDonald's and ordering off the menu, we don't know how to just go to the grocery store and c come up with a, a fresh meal on our own.